Hey fam, welcome to the channel. I'm Kim and you're now tuned in to Sweet Kids Creations. Okay, listen. God is saying he needs us to be walking in love. My God today. Right? Showing no partiality to NT1. NT by T. Your enemies, your family, your friends. Glory be to God. Um, He actually had me reading. I was We were discussing this as a family. And um, it's so crazy because he confirmed it over and over again. And even to the point of he'll send simple reminders like say for instance you get out of love and then it'll be like something that happened like okay cause you ain't acting right right you know what I'm saying like you get in your feelings you know getting into pride getting into just like a little spat or something and the father will be like mm -mm. well since you ain't paying attention may allow this to happen so you can get back on track so he gave me James 2 and I, I uh, charge you to go read James 2, 1 through three, 13. I'm sorry, 1 through 13. But I'll be reading through, I think, like the seventh verse. So it says, My brother, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into an, your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, You sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, you stand over here or sit down at my feet. Have you not then made distinction among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man are not the rich ones who oppress you and the ones who drag you into court. Seven says, are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? Okay. So, you know, just be, be careful. Just always moving in love. Okay. And even when, you know, looking at people, because sometimes like human people, we are human, right? Humanity, right? So all of us at some point in time have said something in our head. But see, I... I cancel my thoughts in the name of Jesus. So I'd be like, okay, Lord, forgive me for thinking it. I don't want to judge nobody. I don't want to, you know, talk about nobody in my head. That's not my place. You know what I'm saying? Because judge not least he be judged for a man shall be judged by his own standards. So we just got to know how to combat the enemy's plots and plans because this promised land and nothing is going to be the same though. They've been trying to send a text, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the enemy do. He's trying to distract you and get you off off your pivot you know what i'm saying off point off off where you're going but he can't do anything about it it don't matter who he uses to try to send witchcraft it don't matter who he you know what spirits they send it it don't matter what the enemy trying to do because it's not of god so that's of the devil my god today glory be to god and um just know to walk in love no matter what and if you find yourself out of a, a posture of love out of position you know, go back to the Father and pray. Right? So, yeah, that part. I love you with the love of Christ. We'll talk soon.